I guess I'm fearful of stepping back and, and squashing the manifestation. And why does that exist? Why does that fear exist? Because, because you've practiced micromanaging things. You've practiced controlling conditions. You don't yet trust the universe to yield to you what's best for you. So how can I get and, over and, that? And here, and, here, and here it is. And this is really what we began uh, talking about at the very beginning stages of this gathering. This is the leading edge conversation that this gathering is accomplishing. It's the difference between, as a deliberate creator, believing that I have to figure out all of the components and make them happen, and understanding that I've already figured out the components because I've been sifting through the contrast, and they have already happened because Source has already answered everything that I've been asking for incrementally, and that everything that I am, everything that I want has evolved into this, and now my work is to allow it to be realized by me, not to make it happen. It's the difference between going after it and just recognizing it when it comes. That's really big. Could you, could you feel that in the context of the specifics of your question? Yes. Yes, so I want to just let it be, but I'm a little nervous about that, and I don't know why. Well, second-guessing yourself is a human trait, and it's, it's always a, th a way that you shoot yourself in the foot. It, it, in other words, can you answer these questions affirmatively? Everything is always working out for me. Yes. The source within me knows who I am and what I want. Mm -hmm. I sustain a pretty stable level, steady level of alignment. It's logical that things are working out for me. Yes. I don't need to question why things are happening because they are working out for me. I do not have to peruse the entire world in order to identify the best thing for me. The universe can yield it to me easily. This is the thing that people who are hanging around with Esther a little bit these days are noticing. She doesn't spend a lot of time studying anything or or gathering statistics about anything because she expects the universe to give her what she exactly wants when she wants it in other words the research era of her life is over mm. <laughs> because she has accepted that she's been sifting and asking and that it's been answered and now her work is just to get in that receiving mode and to revel in what she's receiving no more need to justify no need more need to explain just receiving you see and can you feel how when you first sat down you're not doing it now there was this need to understand why did it work that way so that I can do that again and what, mm -hmm. what were the components right. that made it work out that way well the components are you ask and it is given period you ask and it is given, period. We, we want you to feel the worthiness of you and not be surprised when, can you believe how that worked out, you say? <laughs> Man, it was like a miracle. No, it wasn't. <laughs> the earth spinning in its orbit is more like a miracle and that happens every day. The sun coming up every morning, the food still regenerating on this planet, the water moving around. In other words, there's big stuff going on. You see, it's time for you all to stop pinching yourself off from the well-being that is lined up for you. See, just accept it. Why are these good things happening to you? Your two-year-old can give you the right answer because... <laughs> because... What did you do to justify all of that well-being? Nothing. <laughs> How come things are so good for you? They just are. Well, you need to work hard in order to keep more of it coming. <laughs> the little ones have figured it out. You're figuring it out too, aren't you? Don't you feel more ready to let more of what you want in and don't you feel more expectant of it don't you feel don't you feel sort of refreshed doesn't it feel like you've pushed the reset button do you know that your point of attraction has shifted and while since words don't teach and they don't we know you've been feeling some resonance the evidence that comes as a result of this shift will leave you standing more confidently you see
And we don't want you to be confused about what's going on here because there's no magic going on. We just for a period of time talked consistently to you as your inner being knows things to be. So to the degree that you've been hearing us and getting it, you've come into alignment with who you really are. So the resistance is less now, you see. Just be easy about it. Do more things that feel good. Have more fun. Put fun as a higher priority. Put work as a lower priority. Put effort as a lower priority. And inspiration as a higher priority. Say more things like, I just felt like it. Why did you do that? I just felt like it. I just felt, I just felt, the, I just felt like it. I just felt the flow of it. What are you going to do next? Uh, I'm waiting for the inspiration to come. But don't you have any goals? Yeah, my vortex is full of them. <laughs> well, what are you doing about it? Being happy. Well, but how are you making things happen? I'm not at all. The, the law of attraction and the, the universal forces, that's the engine. Everything's all queued up. I'm just, I, I believe, say to anyone who asks, who really wants to know, I believe that... I've set it all into motion and now I'm just putting myself in the best mindset to allow the most to flow easily to me. Well, what does that mean? What are you doing? Not that much. <laughs> but, but what does that mean? Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just chilling out. Well, well, how do you spend your time? By looking for things that feel good. Well, what do you mean? Well, I make lists of appreciation if it comes easily. I, I, I try to see things through the eyes of source. I, I recognize that when I feel negative emotion that I'm seeing it differently so I feel around until I feel better until I've sort of settled in on that, that broader point of view well why are things working out so well for you because they're supposed to and for you too well how did you bring that about I stopped worrying about things well how does that play out in your day-to-day -day experience did you stop going to work no I still go to work but I look for reasons to feel good while I'm there I'm not asking conditions to change so that I can feel better. I'm feeling good before I go to work and then it's easier for me to keep it going longer. I discovered that while I sleep, all momentum stops. So every morning when I wake up, I try to go as far into the day as I can by thinking general thoughts so that I keep feeling good. Don't, do you not have any problems anymore? Oh no, they're problems. They just don't bother me like they used to. Why not? Because I'm not trying to solve them anymore. I'm not trying to solve problems. Solving problems just keeps problems coming. What do you mean you're not trying to solve problems? I believe that the problems are already solved. I'm just trying to line up with the, with the solution. What? I'm lining up with the solution. The vibration of the problem and the vibration of the solution are very different frequencies. What? Well, I'm just trying to be happy as much as I can. And when I'm happy, I'm in alignment with the solutions. And so good things just keep happening to me. The better I feel, the more flows that feels good. The worse I feel, the more flows that feels bad. So I'm just giving up the struggle. That's it. I gave up the struggle. What? I gave up justifying, defending, rationalizing, justifying, defending, rationalizing. Well, how, 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 what? <laughs> I'm just living happily ever after just expecting things to go well for me just looking for positive aspects I'm just making long lists of positive aspects I'm looking for things to appreciate I'm feeling the inspiration of appreciation coming I'm starting out with really general thoughts I focus upon emotions rather than conditions what well it's a long story and it took me a while to get there but now I'm here it's just getting better and better and better I'm not trying so hard to make anything happen I'm expecting the good that I deserve to flow to me and it is We've enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey. It is our desire that you all feel like we feel. It's our desire that you know you as we know you. It's our desire that life be as good to you as your life be to us. We said that specifically in that way because we want you to understand the importance of that which you are to the expansion of the universe and to the joy that is ours. Many people once they make their transition into non-physical experience the relief of letting go of resistance we just don't think you should have to croak to do that <laughs>
<laughs> we think you should be able to accomplish it easily day by day there is great love here for you and as always we remain in your vortex